Hello, my name is Stefan Weber. I am the director of the Museum of Islamic Art. It's in the Perlemann Museum and part of the State Museums of Berlin. We are partners of Museums with No Frontiers and we are now sitting almost in Aleppo. This is a house, or let's say it's a part of a house, it's a room, the so-called Aleppo room, which is done or made in 1601 by a certain Isa in Butrus. He was a merchant in the city of Aleppo and Aleppo in Syria was at that time a very, very important merchant city. There, crossroads of different trade routes were producing not of income, not of money to produce most of the finest houses or um, caravansarais, trade buildings or mosques or churches that you find in the region. So this was a reception room where the owner received his clients in the morning and his friends in the evening. And this part of a house where you have an inner courtyard you go in and then the reception hall you have actually go through the courtyard and enter then from the really uh, shiny sun into the coolness of this room inside. And you, what a spectacular um, uh, actually experience because you had water inside, you had water in the courtyard, the windows were open, you will hear the birds from the courtyard inside, you would have the smell of jasmine and orange the light is glimmering through the holes in the, in the cupola and then you have all this painting which is really kind of cosmography of the uh, world of a merchant at that time. You find everything. You find Jews and Christian belief, Muslim, Islamic belief of course. You find um, uh, wisdoms for everyone, daily wisdom. You find paintings of everything in the world that you can imagine of. Also of things that would not exist in the real world but in the imaginary world of that time. It's an all over filling, central experience this room, and this is why it makes it really unique uh, worldwide. There's nothing like this in our museum, and unfortunately also not anymore in Syria. This is the oldest um, interior that we know of in, in Aleppo, but also in the Ottoman world of this standard, as quality, and as beauty. So today this room has a special role because we have a changing society in Germany, not only in Germany, in Europe. And refugees coming here from Syria, from the Arab world. And we worked with them in the famous program called Motaka, where we make the museum and the room a meeting point of people here and newcomers. On the other hand side, we became centers of documentation of this heritage. We are now working with almost 15 Syrians to document the heritage of the country and communicate it inside Germany, but also, of course, to the international community. The object of the past, they have a relevance for us today, as they tell about the countries where many people are come from, of modern crisis. So no wonder that artists are also interacting with this room. We had a glass artist here from Turkey who thought about refugees from Aleppo and, um, and had an installation here, or a filmmaker who thought how the um, experiences for Syrians inside Germany taking the Aleppo room as the starting point. And of course we hope very much that artists to come and reflect about their present by looking into our own past.